Hey everybody. Over the past year, I've um, I've learned a little bit about how to mount the TBS Unifies U.FL connector without ripping it off. I've seen several people have issues with ripping off this little connector, which only has a few solder points holding it on. And uh, today I just want to show you how to make it a little bit more durable. Make sure even if you use one of these three ways that you mount your pigtail very securely to your quad so that in case of a wreck your your antenna will not rip your pigtail off of the U.FL. First gonna need the TBS Unify. One inch heat shrink, a heat gun, cutters, scissors or side cutters, a hot glue gun or welder's glue. Uh, whenever this dries it's gonna be more like a rubber pliers. Now let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have our heat shrink cut for our Unify. You can cut this a little long. In fact, I recommend it as it's going to shrink down just a little bit. I'm usually going to go past it. I'd say about a quarter inch. And then straight to the back. I'm pretty sure these methods will work with the Tramp also as it has the U.FL connector. Now the first tip, I don't use this one quite as much anymore just because it doesn't work for my builds. But uh, it, it did work on some of my older ones. What I like to do is I would take the Unify, slide it in, and then somewhere here in the center just go ahead and cut out a real tiny hole, just just big enough that this U.FL connector can slide through it. So I'm going to take it and squeeze it out to where I wanted it. I'm going to take these side cutters and cut out just a real small hole. Basically cut a triangle in it and you'll end up with a square hole. Now this way, if you need to shorten your SMA pigtail, say it's a little too long for your build, or if you want your Unify turned around a different direction, you just take your SMA and slide it through this hole. Take your Unify and get it up in line for the heat shrink. Anytime you put this U.FL on there, make sure that you have a very have it very uh, lined up. You don't want to mess up the pin that's in there. Get it straight, and then make sure you can hear an audible click whenever you push it on. And then slide your Unify in. Line up the back, and then heat shrink it. Now when you heat shrink it, uh, this type of heat shrink, since it's thicker, it's almost like an adhesive. While it's hot, you can take your pliers here, when you get it all shrunk down, and squeeze right there. And it'll kind of seal off this end. Make it a little bit tighter around that U.FL. Now the second way, I saw Trappy post this on Facebook. I'm not sure if anybody's posted it on YouTube yet, but if you take your TBS Unify right here on the edge of the U.FL right there you can solder it down to this larger pad. Let's see if I can get it to focus Yes. Okay, so you can solder the U.FL down to this larger pad as they're both grounds and then have your SMA running in this direction. Okay, now for the third part, personally my favorite part for 
how it goes into my builds. I like having it come out the normal direction that it's shipped to you. But I don't like the original heat shrink. It just rips way too easy. It's not strong enough. And this black silicone around the U.FL, it, it really just doesn't do anything. It rips right out. So you take your Unify, get it all ready, and go ahead and click on your U.FL. Audible click. I like to go ahead and slide it in to my heat shrink, make sure that I like how long the heat shrink is. Before you shrink it down, I like to just move it a little bit past this connector. It's going to shrink in a little bit and uh, that's fine even if it is overhanging. We can always get our side cutters out and cut off the edges. Just real easy. Alright, now that we got our glue gun all heated up and ready to go, we can go ahead and get this secured. Now here's the part where you can make a little bit of a change. You can either use this contact adhesive for a little bit rubber, rubbery grip down here. Uh, some say that it's a little bit easier to remove if you have to take it off later. But uh, if you use the hot glue gun, you can simply put 99% rubbing alcohol on the hot glue later and it'll peel straight off. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the hot glue gun. We kind of have to do a little bit faster process here as you want your glue to still be hot when you go to heat shrink it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot glue gun. I put it in here right above the connector and just pump in a few squeezes, just enough to surround it. Now we're going to move on over to our heat gun. Okay, while your while your heat shrink is still pretty warm, get out a set of pliers. Let's see. Get out a set of pliers. Go ahead and crimp down right here on the end of the heat shrink. And just hold it there for a second. This will give it a good seal around the connector. Just a little bit more strength. Okay, now that we have that part completed, we can move on to cutting the end of this off. As I said before, you probably weren't sure what exactly I was going to be using the heat shrink or the, uh, probably weren't sure what I was going to be using the side cutters for. But after you go ahead and crimp this down, leave maybe a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. I'm just cut off this little bit of excess. Now we have a real tight seal around our connector and we're not going to have to worry about it coming off again in the future. I mean that's, see I can't even turn it. Now we do have a little bit of overhang back here so I'm going to take my side cutters and just go ahead and cut that little bit off. You don't have to, I just, I'm a little particular about that. You know, with, with this VTX, you don't have a, you don't have much of a heat sink for it. He wanted to keep it as light as possible. Probably why he goes with the little bit thinner uh, heat shrink around it out of the factory. So if you want to you can always cut this heat shrink to about half leave a little bit out for the open air or uh, I've done it before where I just cut a small band out and leave it out for uh, cut a small band to secure the U.FL awesome
Thank you for watching. That's my three hacks for the TBS Unify.